again YouTube. So we are going through a free code camp, JavaScript algos and data structures, and we are in the basic course on number 37 of 113. So we are going to use bracket notation to find the nth to last character in a string. So we can use the same principle that we just used to receive retrieve the last character in a string to retrieve the nth to last character. So for example, if we wanted to get the third to last letter of this first name, we could use the first name, bracket notation, first name dot length, minus three. That makes sense. So, for example, first name is August, Augusta, and the third to last letter is the first name, bracket notation, at the first name dot length. So the length of the first name, minus three, at that index, we're going to pull that letter. So. Let's try it. Use bracket notation to find the second to last letter character in the last name string. So we have Lovelace, we want the second to last character. So we can just simply do exactly what we saw here. Very similar to the last assignment we did. Once again, using the dot length property, which we know returns the length of whatever we're attaching it to as a number. So if we say last name and the bracket notation tells it to grab a specific index of last name, which is a variable. So we're going to grab a specific index, meaning a specific character. We can say last name dot length, and that will grab nothing because that's outside the range. So if we did minus one, it would grab the last letter. And if we want the second to last, we can just do minus two. And if we copy this whole thing. I guess we really don't even need to do that. We can just copy the variable we have it assigned to. Again, console.log, that variable. You can see we have the C, which is the second to last letter of the last name. And that's all there is to this one. I hope to see you guys in the next.